So my name is Kevin Hagen. I'm the manager of Mid-Ontario Snowmill Trails. I do cover the area from uh, Collingwood to Aurelia, down to Barrie, Midland Penetang, and over to Quarth Lakes, actually. So I look after 10 different snowmobile clubs and I do all their min work and, and uh, I'm the guy that opens and closes the trails. <laughs> Anybody who's a snowmobiler who or e even new to the sport that wants to go snowmobiling, there's uh, what we call an ITG, an interactive trail guide on the OFSC website. And that is a map of the entire trail system in the province and it changes color. So if a trail is closed, they'll be red. When the trail opens, uh, it can be yellow or it can be green. And yellow means to ride with caution and green means that it's uh, a great trail and you shouldn't encounter any issues on it. The majority of our trail system is on private property. So that property could be winter wheat. It could be uh, different types of crops. And so the farmers who give us permission, give us permission for a corridor. They don't give us permission to run all over their field. And so we stake the fields with orange stakes and we ask people to stay between the stakes because that's where we have permission to put the trail. And so we wind up losing trail when people ride all over where they're not supposed to. So we encourage everybody to stay within the trail. That's where it's safe. That's where we've groomed and made it flat. And uh, there can be rocks, there can be trees, there can be all kinds of crap out in the fields that you don't see that's buried under the snow and you wind up getting yourself in trouble. And it also leads to trail closures when the snowmobiles don't stay on the trail. Like a new snowmobiler, like I say, the most important thing is to get proper clothing. You can't wear ski clothes. You need to go to a, a reputable dealer is your best place and buy proper clothing. It's all insulated. They sell heated gloves now. They sell heated helmets. And, and you can be as toasty warm as possible. And that, that's one of the biggest things is if you wear the proper gear, then you don't get cold and you can be out there all day long and and the big thing I tell people is it's not a race go you go snowmobiling to enjoy the scenery and to get to see things and uh, so you know I tell people the speed limit is the speed limit and and if you drive any faster you're gonna miss things and 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 not really get the enjoyment out of snowmobiling and uh, you know there's lots of families on the trail also and I take my kids and and we ride double on the snowmobile and they love it but I appreciate that people aren't driving like uh, daredevils out there because I'm gonna meet them or they're gonna pass me or, or you know and things happen quickly because it's you know it's a vehicle you know a few things about the snowmobile you need to have it gassed up it needs to have insurance on it and you need to have a license sticker that you get from the Ministry of Transportation and once you have those items you can legally drive on the street in most cases some municipalities have bylaws against snowmobiles and snowmobiles are not allowed on the 400 series of highways so those are two things to keep in mind uh, you're not allowed to ride on the sidewalks in the majority of municipalities and there are some restrictions on the boulevards in municipalities also so wherever you live you need to check with your local municipality to determine exactly where you can ride once uh <clears throat> if you want to access the ontario federation of snowmobile clubs trails you need to buy a permit and affix it to the front of your snowmobile that allows you access to the entire trail network in the province of Ontario. And once you're all set up with your license and you need a driver's license or a snowmobile license, there is a snowmobile license available for kids 12 and up. And uh, they have to take a course online. They get a special snowmobile license and then they can drive on the trail network only. They can't drive on the streets until you have a proper driver's license.